grooming tack up Clifford with me for the first actual ride with a saddle in maybe a month and a half. Starting off with a nice curry all over him because little boy's in paddock condition, uh, cleanliness wise. Now we're gonna do a little soft brush on him. Is your lip quivering? Do you wanna? Do you wanna be entertained with a soft brush? No. Sometimes he does. Stop. I found more crust on his chest, and I just found an itchy spot. First time he's ever reacted to me itching him here in nearly two years. So, I figured I'd show that off. This works too. Does that feel good? Oh, <laughs> does it feel good, boy? Time for hoodies, and I'll speed this up. I'm just gonna get his forelock, which takes approximately three seconds. Never mind. Okay, I'm gonna brush his mane, like, quickly. This isn't very quick. There's no knots, it's that I don't wanna keep taking out knots. Look at that, look at that hair loss. And I'm gonna just do a quick running braid on him. I like running braids on him. I've always liked them. I've always wanted my unicorn with a long mane, and so I'm giving my unicorn a long mane. Okay, good boy. The last of the detangler. Okay. I got that thing like two and a half years ago though, so. It's lived a long life. I don't know if I'm lucky because I don't have to use it with onion because its tail is so thin. Or unlucky because I don't have to use it on onion because its tail is so thin. Oh, my dog is out. I didn't realize she was out. That could prove problematic. Saddle pad of the day is the Lamo Sage. It is actually the second time I'm using that saddle pad because I used it with onion. Clifford's saddle on is so much nicer than putting onions on because onions 16 hands and I'm only like 5'2 ish, 5'3 ish. So I have to put that thing high up. He's like here on me and I'm like jumping to put his saddle on. It's pretty disappointing. Let's see. Has being off work for like a month and a half really made your girth fit less? At some point, we're probably going to need to give him a bigger girth because in the winter, he gets too fluffy for this one and it doesn't fit him. So, this winter, we're either going to bareback it, he's going to be lame, or I'm going to get a new girth. You haven't gained weight, thank goodness. So, I know it looks like his bridle is moldy, but I just put way too much leather conditioner on it, so... That's what happens when you clean a bridle and it sits in a moist environment for a week without being used. You got you got to open your mouth. Thank you. This isn't the type of bit that I can shove in your mouth, honey. You've got a plastic easy ride. It doesn't get any easier than that. You know, to the name, easy ride. Only reason I'm even using a bit today is I don't know how he's going to react to the whole, like, work thing. I don't know if I'm going to need it. I don't know if I'm going to regret it. I don't know. But better safe than sorry. Okay. He's all tacked up and looks mildly acceptable. As always, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you watching the next video.
As always, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.